Sunita Gupta joins us on uh, right now on Countdown to discuss how the quarter has been. Uh, first up, Pravinita, congratulations on such a good numbers. Uh, it's been a great quarter with robust growth in revenues and profit. What factors do you really attribute to the performance? Uh, is it largely been US-based? Sure, sure. So, I mean, it's been a great quarter, both from a growth perspective as well as operational performance. Um, we've had growth agro across all our major businesses and geographies. Starting with the U.S., we had 46% growth uh, in the U.S. market, primarily driven by our genetic business. Uh, our India business grew 26%. Uh, so um, uh, we were very, very pleased that uh, um, you know, coming from the last uh, year when we had a, had a real challenge, with the India business, uh, we, we have uh, now a very strong growth momentum starting this year. Our Japanese business grew 13%. Our South Africa business grew uh, 20%. Our API business grew 20%. So growth across really all our major geographies and businesses. So apart from um, you know, growing our revenues, we also had um, a very good operational performance from um, you know, operational efficiencies. Our gross margins uh, improved 2.5%, and our EBITDA went up from the 28% level to 35% 30, level. Vinita, the market is definitely very excited about the margins that you've delivered. The big question on the street is, will you be able to sustain these going forward? So last year, if you look at uh, our average margin for the year, EBITDA margin was at 28% level. Um, in the, this first quarter, 30 4.8 or 35% level is uh, uh, very heartening, but definitely on the higher side. I mean, we've had uh, some foreign exchange benefit uh, into the EBITDA margin, uh, plus we've had uh, uh, some deferral on the expenditure front. Uh, some of our R&D expenses uh, that we had expected in the first quarter are uh, going to materialize in the rest of the year. So I will see the R&D uh, expenditure line going up a little bit over the next couple of quarters. I mean, um, given the performance of the last couple of quarters, uh, we, we have a fair degree of confidence of sustaining an EBITDA of 28% plus going forward. Neither you talked about how the domestic business seems to be looking up. Uh, finally, the U.S. is the big driver growth. You were just talking to a market participant as well. Uh, this quarter is done. What up next? What is Lupin looking at? What are some of the expansion of the footprints that you're looking at expanding going ahead? Sure. Um, so um, our current uh, markets outside of India, are the largest market is the U.S., uh, which is now 49% of our revenue for this quarter, uh, followed by Japan, which is 15% uh, of our revenue. We continue to uh, build on our capabilities there continue to look uh, for opportunities to complement, supplement the existing business. In the U.S. in particular, on the specialty front, on the brand front, uh, we have uh, a, a portfolio and franchise, the Suprax franchise and Tara and a couple of uh, other partner products, but uh, have strong ambitions to grow our brand business at a faster pace uh, than our current portfolio. Um, likewise, in Japan, you know, we look to expand our uh, current portfolio with other bolt-on uh, products and pipeline investments. In terms of other markets, new markets, um, in the last uh, quarter, we um, um, entered into an agreement to acquire a company in uh, Mexico, Grin Laboratories Grin, and we're in the process of uh, closing that transaction. Uh, are very excited about the transaction. It, uh, marks our foray into Latin America. We continue to look uh, uh, at other countries in Latin America, including Brazil. Uh, then um, we're also looking um, into Europe. Uh, you know, currently, Europe is a very small percentage of our revenues, really 3% of our revenues. Uh, we really don't have a strong presence there. Uh, brought in um, um, a new management team, a new leader to head the Euro European market uh, earlier this year and are looking at uh, opportunities in Eastern Europe, uh, Russia in particular. Apart from uh, these two new regions, uh, we also are looking at China, uh, just given the scale and the, uh, of the China market and where it's going over the next uh, five years, we'd like to be in um, with the right uh, platform, with the right uh, 
organization and are, are, are looking at China as well uh, to, to find the right uh, foot into the market. Well, I hope uh, that materializes soon, Vinita, for you. Uh, let's talk about something more domestic and the worries for the pharma industry about the changes in the pricing policy and the price controls that are coming in. What kind of impact do you see on Lupin and uh, the industry as a whole? I mean, um, certainly it has an impact on us. Uh, the additional 108 drugs that the NPPA decided to bring um, under price control uh, um, will have an impact uh, on our pricing for our India region business uh, to the tune of uh, um, around uh, uh, 12, 13 crores. So it certainly has an impact uh, on us. I think the bigger impact is really, uh, uh, you know, the uh, ad hocism. You know, we already had the NLEM list uh, that uh, um, was uh, rolled out last year. And this was really unexpected. So that is, you know, that is a bigger challenge for us not to be able to, uh, um, you know, um, uh, determine with certainty uh, what parts of our portfolio are going to uh, uh, be under the, the government purview from a, a pricing uh, pressure standpoint. Um, so, so that continues to be a challenge going forward. Uh, you know, likewise. Uh, uh, there's no dearth of challenges in our industry as much as opportunities. Uh, we continue to tackle them. I mean, um, you know, we are uh, uh, in a very regulated world and uh, um, have our facilities at a very high level of compliance. I'm very proud that uh, we our, our team has set a, a company apart from our peers on that front. Uh, but nevertheless, um, uh, on a you know, weekly basis, monthly basis, we are uh, seeing challenges that other manufacturers are undergoing uh, all over the world, including um, U.S. as well as India. So are uh, always looking out for it.